All right, welcome. This is United International College, and we're here tonight for the 2022 Summer Art Exhibition, which is great. And uh, I'm Professor Ken. I'm Carolina. And we're here to um, discuss the artwork from some of our incredible students. And one of them is here right now with us, Martha. Martha Rodriguez. Hello. How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. So it's great to have you here. I know um, you go from drawing these incredible art artworks to being in our studio here. So don't worry about it. We're all friends here. We're all, <laughs> Caroline is a student. I'm a professor. You're a student. So we all, you know, we're all friends here. So welcome to the show. What we, we wanted to know a little bit more about you. And, um, you know, you did some some great pieces of work. You also did a, a self-portrait. So I know uh, Carolina had a few questions. I had a few questions. So Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead, Carolina. What? Hey, Marta. Uh, first, tell us about you. Where are you from? Are you major? Okay. I'm Marta Rodriguez from Venezuela, uh, where I got my degree as a graphic designer. And now I got my degree as an associate in communication and mass media. And now I'm studying the bachelor. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you got you got some art some art background right? yeah a little bit <laughs> yes yeah, all right a, a little bit yes <laughs> a big one <laughs> yes because your self portrait was very interesting for Thank me you. when I saw it was focused directly in your self portrait so tell me what is point to create your work uh, I created my work my self portrait because um, I would like to evoke feelings of the people about the um, about the pandemic, about the yeah. COVID nineteen. So I decided to to choose a one myself portrait that I took in photography class that I was talking about this thing about the pandemic. So I I put colors in the background. Uh, I I draw my my hand with a mask, and I put color here in order that to transmit all the feelings that the scar that COVID-19 have had in us. Oh. You know, the pain, yeah. all the people that have died because of the sick, right. uh, even all the anxious, the nervous that we felt during the first month, right. the first year, I right. think that it was the most difficult. Yeah, and I think Caroline is right. It's very expressive. So I didn't, now that you explain all that, the use of colors and the way you, you laid that out, I can get I can get that. I see that yeah. in that mm -hmm. piece. If you see, you can see that my eyes are bigger than normal because I wanted to do that, to transmit like a, like an impression. Surprise? Yeah, like, impression. Like, a, yes, like a shock mm. about wow. the situation. Oh. That's wonderful. And and you had something on there. You had the uh, Buzz Lightyear on there too, right? So yes. what what's what's your obsession with Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> I love drawing cartoons for me and Disney ones are are, are amazing. Um uh, the professor asked us about to do a draw by observation thing that is very difficult. And we and she want that she wanted that we can practice different techniques yeah. of um, of sharing of shadows you know to create a shadow so we we use the hashing the cross hashing different dots to create this shadow i love both like years <laughs> for me it's the best and my son i have a son so my son has this toy in the in his room so i decided to do to infinity and beyond, and beyond. yeah yeah <laughs> yes, right. yes. Okay, how long did it take to um, you to create your work? My self portrait. Yes. It was like for four days. Four days. Yes, four mm -hmm. days until three a.m. Because I am a mother, so right. my time to work is like between ten p.m. to three a.m. So I am very like perfectionist, you know. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god, no, no. You so you weren't like <laughs> you weren't like cooking and drawing at the same time or anything like that. Yes. Yes, something you were. Like that. Yes, something. Wow, like that. pretty, yes. pretty incredible. Like an octopus. Like an octopus, right? <laughs> yeah. Hands, feet, and the mouth doing everything. Yes, yes, yes. It's very cool. How do you feel when you saw the end of the, the self-portrait? Wow, I was impressed because uh, I think that I I was able to create the, to evoke this emotion to the people. I was, seriously, I was impressed about that I was able to do something about me because sometimes you can do something about an other person. When professor, when our professor asked, uh, 
I, about to do a self portrait, I was like, oh no, about me. Mm -hmm. I know I don't want to do something about my face. However, then when I realized that I was able to do something different, yeah. dramatic, something, I decided to do. Yes. Wow, that's very nice. And and I guess is what what do you do from here? I mean, is you're going to be an artist after this? What's your plan? My plan is see. I am a graphic designer, yeah. so I love to draw, I love to design, uh, but however, I love radio, I love broadcasting. Oh my God, communication uh, have affect me, has affected me in a way that now I can't decide. Maybe I'm going to do social media that I can do a lot of- A little bit of everything. Yes, yeah. yes, I can do videos, I can do yeah. radios. And that, that's what we do in social media, a little bit of everything. So you'll, you'll have an edge because you know how to create things. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. Nice. So what was the most difficult part to create your work? The most difficult that you- you make many draws or you did just one and just perfect that one. Uh, it was the, about my eyes. It was the most difficult for me because I wanted to transmit these emotions. So for me, it was difficult to decide to do bigger because we want all perfection, all perfect. Like, a, yeah. however, I, I, for me, it was the most difficult, the eyes and the shape of my face too. Yeah. Yeah, I can wow. see that. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to draw myself. I mean it'll be just like a round circle with a couple of dots <laughs> and a smile or something like that. Is that you think about that Marta say when you you be there, try to paint, you stay alone, you don't need no nobody around you. I think you can make a Good self portrait. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> if you have a class with professor, yeah. with a professor Liz, you are gonna I'll do it. it. Yes, right. yes, oh. for sure. I, I would <laughs> if I did that, I want to make myself look better on paper than I am. <laughs> well, I, Martha, we appreciate your time. Um, you know, getting to know you and understand some of your inspiration and, and things like that. As we as we close up, tell let everyone know about your experience, not only here in the class, but maybe at United International College. Well, my spring has been wonderful because it's like um, a big upgrade for me, for my career as a graphic designer for 20 years. Yeah. So for me, it has been fantastic because here I have been able to become a very professional in my career as a communicator and also about my personal life because here with the holistic education approach that he has, uh, we can we I have learned about being a better human beings with critical sure. thinking, with that class of holistic, with Enneagram. So uh, for me, it has been fantastic. That's great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And um, I guess we'll celebrate some of your artwork now. I, I guess you're going to sell it for what? Uh, 600000 Is that the <laughs> price I had that we're going for? Now, no, I decided that my, my face can no have some some price. somebody else yeah. 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 no no no, no. <laughs> we'll it needs it. to be in my in my, in my future office <laughs> that, that'll be nice see so, yeah, at least you have a place for it well well thank you very much for joining us we appreciate thank you it for thank having you for me here thank you for having me perfect wow great